What a magnamazing day the Lord has made. Let's rejoice and be glad in it. My name is Leo Williams, and today is Sunday, 5-5-2024. And as I was doing my evening and morning devotion, what came to me was sin is the leading cause of death. Romans 6.23 says, For the wage of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus our Lord. See, sin is defined as to commit an offense or fault against God or to break God's law. You have to understand, we are free to choose between two masters, but we are not free to choose or adjust the consequences of our choice to sin. Most of the time, sin is not immediate physical death. However, when we work for God through Jesus, our currency or wage is called blessings, peace, wisdom, strength, truth, and discernment to name a few things. Working for the other fella, our ultimate wage is death. But while we are working, God is still trying to offset that wage by providing for good measure the currency of favor, grace, and mercy. Sin is the leading cause of death. I leave you with this. Heart disease is achieved from things like stress or worry. Philippians 4, 6 says, don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he has done. See, overeating is another cause of death. Proverbs 23, 2 through 3 says, if you are a big eater, put a knife to your throat. Don't desire all the, all the delicacies, for he might be trying to trick you. Sin is the leading cause of death. Eating unhealthy foods. Leviticus 11, 2-3 says, Give the following instructions to the people of Israel. All of the land animals, these are the ones you may use for food. You may eat any animal that has completely split hooves and chews the cud. Bacon and pork chops are being consumed faster than farmers can produce them. Leviticus 11.9 says, Of all the marine animals, these are the ones you may use for food. You may eat any of the you may eat anything from the water if it has both fins and scales, whether taken from the salt or water from streams. Did you know only 1% of lobster, shrimp, and crab are inspected annually? Food without split hooves and food that chews the cud or food without fins and scales are always top five foods consumed in the world. Things we should not eat that we love, but the world does not care to inspect the devil's food. Sin is the leading cause of death. Romans 7.3 says, But how can that be? Did the law, which is good, cause my death? Of course not. Sin used what was good to bring about my condemnation to death. So we can see how terrible sin really is. It uses God's good commands for its own evil purposes. See, God made sex good for married couples with each other, your own husband and your own wife, man and woman. 1 Corinthians 6, 18 says, Run from sexual sin. No other sin clearly affects the body as this one does. For sexual immorality is a sin against your own body. See, the world has said it's okay to be sexually immoral. Unmarried, other people's husbands and wives, Jim and Jim, or Sarah and Sarah, Jane that was born a Jim, and Sam that was born a Sarah. No offense if these are your names, but are indulging in sex faster than jackrabbits or cheetahs can run. Then there is human trafficking of children all the way from infants 
up to the elderly. Whatever your flavor, the world has made it available. Sin is the leading cause of death. Romans 5.17 says, For the sin of this one man, Adam, caused death to rule over many, but even greater is God's wonderful grace and his gift of righteousness. For all who receive it live in triumph over sin and death through this one man, Jesus Christ. Sin is the leading cause of death. Romans 6.16 6, says, Don't you realize that you become the slave of whatever you choose to obey? You can be a slave to sin, which leads to death, or you can choose to obey God, which leads to righteous living. Romans 7, 5 says, When we were controlled by our old nature, sinful desires, we were at work within us, and the law aroused these evil desires that produce a harvest of sinful deeds resulting in death. Sin is the leading cause of death. Ephesians 4, 31 says, Get rid of all bitterness, rage, anger, harsh words, and slander, as well as all types of evil behavior. Mark 7, 21 through 23 says, from, For from within, out of a person's heart comes evil thoughts, sexual immorality, theft, murder, adultery, greed, wickedness, deceit, lustful desires, envy, slander, pride, and foolishness. All these vile things come from within. They are what defile you. See, all these things lead to sin and are and or are sin, which is the leading cause of death. Come to Jesus today. Our only option to overcome sin and eternal life in hell with eternal life in heaven because Jesus claimed the victory over sin and death through the sacrifice of his blood when God sent Jesus, his only one and son, to die on the cross for us. Acts 3, 19 through 20 says, Now repent of your sins and turn to God so that your sins may be wiped away. Then times of refreshment will come from the presence of the Lord and he will again send you Jesus, your appointed Messiah. Sin is the leading cause of death. Heavenly Father, I humbly come before you giving you love, thanks, and appreciation showing for you showing us that sin is the leading cause of death and our obedience to your commands, decrees, and regulations with sacrifices of our own desires through your given strength, might, and power is what keeps us from sin. Lord, I pray that everyone under the sound of my voice will examine and re-examine their lives daily and remove any sin and help stop the devil from driving the leading cause of death. Now may the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Have a magnum amazing day and leave a legacy doing legendary things as we examine our lives and remove sin, the leading cause of death. Our purpose is your blessing. God bless.